all right in this video let's install jupyter notebook so let's go to the terminal and windows users please open your anaconda prompt so for the mac users you can open this terminal so currently my base is activated so i'm going to come out of this base okay so that is the default environment comes with the mini conda installation and i'll say conda env list right now i have base and env1 for this project i'm going to create a new environment i'm going to say conda create hyphen hyphen name and my environment name will be stock env okay so i'll hit enter okay so i'll proceed and my environment is activated so i will go ahead and activate this stock env i'll say conda activate stock env okay so whenever you come back to work on this project you have to make sure that you activate this stock env okay so when we work on this jupyter notebook okay so at this point my stock env is activated and now i will actually install jupyter notebook i'll run this command conda install jupyter okay conda install jupyter so hit enter okay so i will proceed with y and it will actually install a couple of packages okay you see these are all the dependency packages you see when you install jupyter so it will say the following new packages will be installed okay all right so let's see okay preparing transaction done verifying transaction done and so this will take a little bit of time okay you can see jupyter notebook is installed and now you can actually say jupyter jupyter hyphen hyphen version okay jupyter hyphen hyphen version you can see everything is installed here right so notebook is 7.0.1 all right now i will run my jupyter notebook so first of all let me see all right i am actually inside this users and ratan folder i will go to my desktop okay i'll go to my desktop because in the desktop i have stock prediction project right so currently i am inside the desktop and uh, okay so this is my project okay so i'll go inside this stock prediction portal project so inside i have uh, dr i mean backend drf env and front end react so i'll create a new folder mkdir and i'll say resources okay so inside this resources we will keep all the data sets and uh, you know the jupyter notebook files okay all right so i'll say cd resources okay perfect so from here i'm going to say jupyter notebook jupyter notebook okay jupyter notebook okay so now the jupyter notebook will open all right so currently you are pointing to this uh, this folder let me open this okay so this is currently empty right so there's nothing here okay so you can actually create your new file okay so click on this new and create a new notebook okay so while creating the notebook it is asking you to select the kernel okay kernel is like a server okay so it's a local server so this kernel needs to be running in order to work on your notebook okay so i'll select python 3 ipy kernel and i'll click this always start the preferred kernel okay i'll select it perfect so this is how your notebook looks like and from here you can click here and rename this test file okay test dot ipynb okay so i'll rename it and here you can start working on this notebook so let me run some python code here let's start with hello world okay hello world and the way you run is you can click on this play button right otherwise you can put your cursor here and shift enter okay it has run my code but uh, i see this black background 
So that's because I was using the dark theme uh, in my Jupyter notebook for a different project. I think it is a conflict of that theme. But anyway, I will reset it in a moment and come back. All right, I have reset my theme and now you can see hello world. Okay. So anyway, this is how you install Jupyter notebook and we will talk more about this Jupyter notebook in the next one.